Live twin births are quite rare, accounting for only about 12 out of every thousand. However, some twins are even more unusual thanks to some amazing characteristics or features that they may have. In this video, we bring you 15 of the most unusual twins in the world. Number 1. Jim Lewis and Jim Springer Separated at Birth The story of Jim Lewis and Jim Springer has continued to confound people for decades. First off, the twins were both named Jim and have different surnames. If that seems strange, well, there's a bigger part of the story. The identical twins were born in 1940 but were separated at birth and then placed up for adoption. At three weeks, their respective adoptive parents called their new sons both James, or Jim for short. They weren't aware of each other, but they did grow up only a mere 40 miles apart. Both would end up with a brother named Larry, and both had a pet dog named Toy. In school, the two Jims both enjoyed mathematics and woodwork, but had a strong disliking for spelling. The similarities don't end with their childhoods, though. Both of them would go on to marry women who were named Linda. However, when things soured, they divorced after a number of years together. Both would then proceed to marry once again, this time hitching up with women who were both named Betty. Are you surprised? Well, <laughs> there's more surprises in store. The identical twins each had a son, which they both named James Allen. Both were chain smokers, both suffered from migraines, and they both drove Chevrolets. They even chose the same profession, working as a security guard. At this point, you probably feel as though the story might be made up, but it is actually a true life story, and it was like the two were living the same lives in parallel universes. In 1979, at the age of 39 years old, their paths would finally cross for the first time after Jim Lewis had discovered the contact details of his identical twin. They were amazed to realize that they had vacationed at the same place. Number 2. Stevie and Eddie Ahern, the twins that can't stop eating. Having one hungry child could be stressful at times, but just imagine having two on your hands. Furthermore, imagine that they can't stop eating because they have a desire for food that can't be satiated. That's the life of the parents of Stevie and Eddie Ahern. Stevie and Eddie were both born with a rare combination of autism and prater willi syndrome, a condition that causes an insatiable appetite. That means that the boys, who live in New Haven, Connecticut, will devour just about anything. Their mother, Diana, has to watch them constantly because they can eat themselves to death. She has to lock up all of the medications in her room and then the bedroom door at night before going sleep just to protect them. She must not forget to padlock the refrigerator and even the broom closet to be sure that the kids don't make dinner out of the cleaning supplies. Raising Stevie and Eddie is so demanding that she has to strictly monitor their 1,200 calorie per day diets, and the job proved too strenuous on Diana's relationship with their father, so he now lives elsewhere with the couple's other two children. Another side effect of the disease is that the boys are prone to violent outbursts, and sometimes the mom just can't handle them. Stevie can become very violent and begin knocking things over, and many times he goes after his brother who would have to hide in her room. He even has to wait for hours for Stevie to come out of it. Diana tries to explain to them that they'll be taken away from her if they have to go to a hospital, but they're not able to comprehend. Number 3. Rosemary and Christina Alubankuri Rosemary and Christina Alubankuri stand out due to their shared albinism. Having albinism is rare, and being a twin is also rare. But what are the odds of a pair of twins also being albinos? Rosemary and Christina are proof that even though rare, it can happen. While many people do see albinism as a problem, the pair of girls have been able to make a good thing out of it. The 24-year-old identical twins from New York were born with albinism, a rare group of genetic disorders that cause the skin, hair, or eyes to have little or no pigment. The condition also causes vision problems. The pair struggle with poor eyesight and skin that's very sensitive to light, which frustrates them at times. And they've said that even with glasses on, they have really low vision and can't really see from afar. People often don't understand the condition. The pair have to be extra careful about going outside because they can't stay in the sun for too long. And that means that simple things like going to the beach can be problematic. Although the girls fully embrace their albinism, they were constantly teased about it all throughout school. 
They could just sit on their own and people would refuse to sit with them. They said that growing up with albinism was hard because at first nobody knew what was going on and even when they did, it could be depressing to be different from everyone else. When they began university, the pair decided to be more open about their condition and the twins have a shared passion, that being fashion. The pair have been obsessed with the subject since childhood and have even completed their master's degrees in global fashion enterprise and simply love working with clothing. Number 4. James and Harley Sometimes twins are so close that they're almost always found in the company of each other. However, some twins, such as James and Harley, can't physically be apart. This is because they're conjoined twins. James and Harley are two twin boys who were joined at the abdomen at birth. Their case would gain worldwide attention as their parents could not afford the cost of an operation to separate them. In fact, the couple borrowed money to cover the twins' initial medical bills, but were discharged after they could not pay for an operation. However, the internet would show its good side, and people from all over the world contributed the money that was needed. Both aged 20, they traveled more than 1,000 miles from their home in the rural mountains to the Children's Hospital of the Fudan University in Shanghai for treatment. It was there that doctors would use 3D technology to make models for a virtual operation, sending data from the twin CT and MRI examinations to a 3D printing company to build two models of the conjoined twins' body parts. They used the models to create an operation plan which would require separating their liver and pelvic bone before moving on to the intestines. A urology team then worked to place the boys' bladders back inside their bodies before orthopedic surgeons took over to reconstruct their pelvic cavities. Finally, surgeons would fit colostomies and closed up all of the incisions before the boys were taken to intensive care. The surgery was a success and vastly improved their quality of life, as they could now urinate, defecate, and perform other bodily functions separately. However, they would go on to require more surgeries. Number 5. Nellie and Neve – Conjoined Twins That Can't Be Separated Nellie and Neve are here because they defy all odds. When they were born attached at the backs of their heads, the doctors predicted that they would die shortly after birth, and if they did scale childhood, they would die by the age of 10, and then after that it would be a big struggle. However, they're now over the age of 18 and living soundly. Before the twins were even born, their mother was told that they would be joined at the head. They're from Amsterdam and can never be separated because they share a main artery in the head which keeps them alive. Born in Suriname, South America, but due to lack of medical resources, they had to move to the Netherlands for more urgent and specialized care. Living with the condition in Suriname was hard. Their older sister said that people would distance themselves from their family because they felt that it was some kind of voodoo or perhaps the children were cursed. But the twins are thriving and say they would never want to be separated anyways, even though they've had to cope with wicked torments all throughout their lives. Since they're connected at the back, the girls cannot see each other directly. They can't even look at the same thing at the same time. They improvise by using mirrors to see each other and to watch television. This type of conjoined twins condition is actually very rare. Just between 2 and 6% of all conjoined twins worldwide will have it. The twins began a YouTube channel and an Instagram page in order to raise awareness of their condition and show people how much more they are than just girls with a disability. Number 6. Lucy and Maria Amer, who many people find hard to believe are twins. Having twins that look exactly alike is amazing and causes people to do a double take. However, the opposite can be amazing as well, as in the case of Lucy and Mariah Amer, twin girls that appear completely different. They claim that many people assume they're just close friends. The fraternal twins from Gloucester in the UK were born in 1997 to their half-Jamaican mother Donna and their white father Vincent. One is black while the other is white. Even the mother would be shocked after seeing her twin girls for the first time. Scans did not pick up skin color, so nothing could prepare them for the differences in their children. The twins are the youngest of five, which includes Jordan, George, and China. All of the older brothers and sisters have a skin color which is between Mariah and Lucy. However, the two are at the opposite ends of the spectrum despite being twins. The upside was that nobody confused them for each other all throughout school. They don't even look like they have the same parents. 
The girls have different personalities as well. Mariah is outgoing while Lucy is the shy one, and Mariah enjoys people's confusion when she tells them that she has a white twin. And Lucy? Well, she says she's proud to have a black twin as well. However, since the story of the two girls has gone viral, Lucy has become the object of online trolling. She said that she's received constant insults from people who compare her to her white twin and call her the ugly twin. The internet can often ruin things and be cruel sometimes. Number 7. Julia and Michael Taranzak This pair of twins make our list because one of them was born with Down syndrome and one of them was not, and that is quite rare as it can get. Julia and Michael are from San Diego, California, and they share absolutely everything about their lives except a single chromosome. Michael was born with such a severe form of the genetic disorder that he's unable to speak. However, his twin Julia does not have the condition. The two of them still manage to do most things together. They both have a passion for the water and are often going to the beach together and watch the waves crash against the shoreline. Even though Michael can't speak, the twins do still communicate in their own language. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects people born with an extra full or partial copy of chromosome 21. It causes problems in physical features and developmental changes of the person who's born with it, and common features can include a small head, a flattened face, poor muscle tone, upward slanting eyes, and short height. In the case of Michael, though, communication is difficult because he doesn't have a strong fine motor skills in that department, so he can't even communicate with his friends. But Julia has learned to read his face in order to understand whether or not he's happy or sad. Julia says that Michael can also read facial expressions and sense emotions very well. Their mother became pregnant at the age of 40 and didn't know about Michael's condition until he was born. Julia said that she believes Michael taught her a lot as they've grown up, and she credits him for helping her to be independent. Number 8. Ella and Anna, born with Tritcher Collins Syndrome Ella and Anna are identical twins and share a lot in common, which includes a condition known as Treacher Collins Syndrome. The condition affects the facial appearance and the bone structures. Despite their condition, the pair are outgoing. They do love visiting amusement parks, dancing, and being outdoors, and they've even got their driver's licenses because they live on a rural property where driving is a necessity. Growing up was not easy, however. Their mother's normal pregnancy did not show that anything was amiss, but when the twins were born, the medical team didn't know at first what was wrong. Eventually, they would both be diagnosed with Treacher Collins syndrome, and they spent four and a half months in the hospital with multiple surgeries. They both wear a bone-anchored hearing aid, and Ella's speech is more affected by the condition, which is challenging for her. She says that sometimes strangers feel that she has some kind of developmental delay due to her facial appearance, and they pity her or offer to help. She says that it's frustrating because she just wants to be treated like everyone else. One day, she dreams of owning her own business. Anna has had more medical issues, which includes breathing problems, and she also says that people often treat her like she has inferior intelligence and would overlook her to speak with others. However, the twins are happy for the supportive group of friends that understands the challenge of having a facial difference. Number 9. Taylor Mule and Her Absorbed Twin Taylor Mule has a twin sister who follows her everywhere. That's because she's right inside of her body. Taylor is a singer and has a condition known as chimerism, and this means that she has two sets of DNA, each with the genetic code, to make a separate person. The rare condition can happen during fetal development, and in Mule's case, she had a fraternal twin that she absorbed in the womb. The condition is why she has what appears to be a large birthmark on her torso. One side has a darker skin pigmentation color than the other, courtesy of her twin's DNA. For a long time, she didn't know about her condition, and every doctor simply told her that she had a massive birthmark. However, her condition is not easy to diagnose as it requires specific biomedical testing, but there are usually signs. For example, some people with the condition have patchy skin coloration, like Mule does, or different colored eyes. Other people learned about their condition when they discovered that they have two different blood types. It is common that, for people with Mule's condition, one cell line outgrows the other, so they end up having the majority of their cells come from one set of DNA instead of a 50-50 split between the cell lines. Taylor's type of chimerism is called tetragametic chimerism. This happens in the case of fraternal twins, where there are two separate eggs that are fertilized by two separate sperm and two separate zygotes 
merge and form one human being to two different cell lines. Mule has two immune systems and two bloodstreams, which means that cells in her immune system and her blood both have two different sets of DNA. Her condition causes an autoimmune condition because her body sees her twin's DNA as foreign and reacts to it. As a result, she has a number of allergies to foods, medications, supplements, jewelry, and even insect bites. Number 10. Samuel and Jacob Montague, born with autism. Autism is a serious health condition that affects people differently. Twins Samuel and Jacob were both diagnosed with the condition at the age of two, and due to their condition, their behavior became destructive as they grew older. Their parents would report that the twins could sometimes violently lash out, smear excrement on the walls, and even try to chew up the furniture. In addition, the boys regularly ran away, forcing their parents Annie and Mark to bolt all the doors and windows down and erect a high fence that went around their home. Their detached house would soon look like a maximum security prison. The parents were told to give up on the boys because their condition could never be helped, but Annie said that experts told her the kids would never see her differently from the postman. People even accused the couple of being selfish for wanting to keep them around because the twins would be better off in an institution. Overwhelmed and rapidly losing hope, the parents would even take a look at a residential home for their boys. They didn't want to do it, but it turned out to be exactly what they needed. With help from a dedicated caregiver, they began looking into therapies and treatments for the children. Samuel and Jacob would then both be placed on a special diet and began using a technique called Handle, a holistic approach that aims to change the way that the brain functions. Then they learned about a program named the Sunrise, which encouraged the caregiver to join the children in their autistic behaviors rather than seeking to change them. Annie reported that her sons now come up to her and hug her, which is something that she never thought would happen. Number 11. Sharik and Tariq Elliott Sharik and Tariq are not identical twins. In fact, one of them is a boy, while the other one is a girl. But there's another major difference that comes between them. One is albino, and the other is not. The two children from Florida have an older sibling who also has albinism, so Sharik has somebody to look up to. Before the twins were born, the older sister had a wish, and that wish came true because she had hoped that at least one of them would come out looking like her, which is exactly what happened. Interestingly, there is no history of albinism in either of their parents or their family, so it means that the combination of their genes appears to have a significantly increased chance of resulting in a child with the condition. The twins are of course very close, but Sharik has to deal with comments that her brother doesn't. People often ask her why she is way lighter than her brother, and even sometimes refuse to believe that they're twins. But with the help of their sister, Sharik has been able to deal with the differential treatment that she receives and often gets from people, especially in school. The little girl has been able to overcome shyness and enjoys making friends. The twins and their sister are chosen to be part of an uplifting photo series called The Skin I'm In Project, which has been exhibited in Houston. Number 12. Oliver and Harry Oliver and Harry are twins but look nothing alike. That's because one of them has a condition known as Golden Heart Syndrome. Harry was born with craniofacial condition, which meant that parts of his face were missing. He was born with no eye, no eye socket, no ear, no nostril, and a short, underdeveloped jaw. The birth was shocking to their mother and changed her life forever. She had been excited to learn that she was having twins and had dreamed of their future life. She was happy that her children would always have each other. The news came as a rude shock, though, as she was told that one of her twins did not have complete facial features and may end up suffering spinal problems and brain damage. However, even though she was devastated, her family and friends gave her great support and assured her that she could handle it. However, she would end up receiving more devastating news, as Harry would later be diagnosed with autism. She had to give up her teaching career in order to take care of her children. The boys are now aged 17, and their mother is quite proud to have them in her life. She's even published a book to help parents who struggle to raise children with disabilities. Number 13. Ronnie and Donnie Gallion, two conjoined twins that broke the record as the longest living. Sadly, these twins have passed away, but the legend of them does live on. The American pair from Beaver Creek, Ohio, had been joined at the abdomen since their birth on the 25th of October 1951. Doctors felt that separating them would be too high risk. However, they did live up to the age of 68, 
well surpassing their heroes, Chang and Eng Bunker. Before their death, Chang and Eng had been conjoined twins who had lived to the age of 62 years and 251 days old. Even though conjoined, the pair actually had different personalities. One was easygoing and the other could be temperamental, and they even had different political views and opinions. Physically, they were also different. Ronnie was actually a height of 5 feet 8 inches, while Donnie was 5 foot 5. They would spend over 36 years of their lives traveling in sideshows, carnivals, and circuses, earning money in order to support their family, and eventually retired from the business in 1991. When the twins would show early signs of complications in their well-being, 200 volunteers stepped in to help extend Jim and his wife Mary's home to allow them to be comfortable and remain close to loved ones, as they needed to navigate in a custom wheelchair. The twins were even featured on an episode of Guinness World Records Prime Time in 1998. Number 14. Manir Majid, who carried her twin sister on her head. Manir Majid became worldwide famous when she was featured on an episode of The Oprah Show. The Egyptian girl was born with a second skull with a face that was attached to it, and the skull was named Islam. It could blink and even smile and had a separate brain. However, Islam relied on Manir's organs to sustain life, which endangered Manir's health due to heart troubles. The extra weight would also mean that she would have problems crawling or sitting upright. This would lead to a decision to attempt to detach the parasitic twin. She went through a 13-hour surgery at a children's hospital in Cairo, all to remove the parasitic twin, and was then released from intensive care in March of 2005. The surgery went well, she showed no signs of paralysis, and could move all of her limbs. However, she would later develop hydrocephaly, a condition that causes fluid to accumulate in the brain. Sadly, she passed away from a brain infection shortly before her second birthday, and was the first case that had a successful operation, although it did not lead to a long-term successful outcome. Number 15. Carmen and Lupita, a pair of conjoined twins. The two girls are omphalopagus twins, which occurs in just 10% of conjoined twins. The condition means that each of the girls has a heart, a set of arms, a set of lungs, and a stomach. According to their mother, the girls started off like most other siblings, fighting over everything. However, they would soon learn that, in their own case, they would always be in each other's way. The girls are joined at the abdomen down to their pelvis where their spine meets. Each girl has a single leg which they control separately, but they share some ribs, a liver, and their circulatory system, along with their digestive and reproductive organs. Carmen and Lupita were born in Mexico, but were moved to the United States for better medical care. Doctors would consider separating them when they were younger, but then decided against it. They were two joined together, and it couldn't be done safely. Walking came much later for them than most children, and as they had to learn to balance and coordinate their body movements together. Meanwhile, the two sisters have different personalities. Carmen says that she's most talkative, while Lupita insists that she is the funnier one. The twins have tried to live normal lives, despite facing prejudice and stares for their physical appearance. Let's hear what you think of these amazing twins 